Welcome to Bring Came Presents the Unashamed Gamers State of Decay Special. Sods. What do you call this? State of Decay Special. Sods, you sod. You're sod. Three, two, one, fight! <laughs> Shame gamers with Ben and Paul. Today we're talking all things State of Decay. Never heard of it. No, neither have I. Mm. I don't even know what it is. What's it about? Um, I think it's a gardening game, yeah. to be honest. Like, and you've got to check the decay on your fruit. Mm, mm. Sounds, sounds good. Yeah, it's, like, it's <laughs> a triple sold. A game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's about a state that is in decay. Yeah, well, that's what? it. Yeah, it's it's after Trump comes president. <laughs> yeah, it's America. Wall. Yeah, after, yeah. <laughs> he's built that wall, and Mexico has thrived, and yeah. America has rotted <laughs> away. <laughs> I would play the and shit out of that All game. the Americans are going to try and get into. To Mexico now, which yeah. makes a change. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> They're like coming over here, taking our yeah. jobs. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that, that, that. I don't know what that accent was. That no, wasn't no, even no. Mexican. No, that was. No, that, that was, was that, that was, was beautiful. I won't quit the day job. All yeah, right. It was oddly right. arousing for some reason, <laughs> but it wasn't Mexican. I was gonna say hurt me feelings, but then he said oddly arousing. I'm like, fair enough. That's right. Very much. Mexico Ben for the win. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So yeah, obviously state of the key. If you if you don't know, I mean everyone should know is a zombie game that came on to the arcade Xbox Live Xbox. Arcade. Yeah, that. Whatever. <laughs> Use um, your words. Use me words, yeah. Um, so yeah, it was a zombie open, open world open world survival, survival game. Sim. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. it, yeah. If you want the intelligent stuff, you go to Ben. If you want to hear weak jokes and blabbering. Semi. <laughs> intelligent. <laughs> I, I wasn't just bragging. I thought <laughs> I was just semi. Like, semi. Yeah. Semi. You're right, we definitely don't come to you for the intelligence. So. <laughs> that's semi, that's like a penis, isn't it? <laughs> I've got, got one of them. But yeah, <laughs> I so. I own one. Um, yeah, so State of Decay, or S.O.D., yeah. um, is a zombie game. And yeah, so it, it came out on Xbox Live Arcade, um, and then the... The remastered it for the Xbox One. You see? The UC, yeah, the year one edition. The year one survival edition. edition. Yeah. yeah, that's all right, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just an awesome game, full stop. But they've oh, actually yeah, announced definitely. the sequel to that, so Yay. we're very excited. So, I mean, for like you said, Fiddler's not played it. Um, you're like basically a group of survivors surviving a, a zombie apocalypse. If you've seen Walking Dead, you kind of know the setup. Yeah. Yeah, but but the thing is, it's like a third person action game, so you play it as one survivor, but you can switch between other survivors. Yeah. But uh -huh. It also has permadeath, so if your yeah. so if your if if your survivor dies, they're gone forever. Yeah, which and they is, need to restart the game. But which, you know what I mean? which was quite heartbreaking, especially yeah. when you build up a character like in the yeah. first one, and the first guy you were, I can't remember his name now. It's gonna bug us now. He's um, like the rock with an afro. Yeah, the, exactly. That's um, exactly what it looks like. I built him up quite high, and then there's Same. there's a mission on the Wilkerson's farm, and yeah. you've got to like hold it down, and I got ripped apart by like. Two, two, three zombies. Yeah. And I was genuinely devastated. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm assuming they're going to keep that for the next one. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure if I want them to keep that for the next one because, like, I do think that worked for State of the K1 and I did enjoy that. Yeah. But obviously, the big draw for State of the K2 is that, you know, it looks like we're actually going to get co op. Yeah. Oh, we're definitely going to yeah. get co op. So, like, the, the fact that we're actually going to get that, I'm not sure if that would work the same because, yeah. like, if you get ripped apart, the one of the big things for me was when you died, um, because obviously it's a single player game, State of K1. So the big thing was when you died, it was like you could go back to where that character, yeah, that character actually was, um, was killed, and then you can go and get their pack of stuff. Yeah. So if they had like cool guns and stuff, you could go and get that shit back. Yeah. Which I love that. I, I love that aspect, but I don't, I don't know how that worked. Because like if we were playing and you died, you could just pick. I could just up. literally pick your stuff straight yeah. up, and it's like, oh well, no harm, no foul. Come yeah. and meet us. I'm at the gas station. Uh, you see, well, I never thought of it that you way. Know what I mean? suppose. I suppose, yeah, it would be quite stupid, actually, if they had permadeath. I mean, the might would but be then, normal, that, but, but then, yeah, I suppose it could be... I wonder if it, I wonder if it'll have downs, you know, like um, when someone gets downed on, like, say, Zombies Online. Yeah. I wonder if it would be a case of that. Yeah. It might be permadeath. Um, Don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what, what I'm interested to find out, obviously, is, like you say, because co-op's a funny thing in general anyway. Where are you going to spawn, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Are you going to start on the base and then we have to meet each other, or...? Well... Oh, is it going to be like um, the awful game that we played recently, Seven Days to Die? Oh, uh, is it going to be like you're just on the map God in a certain direction, we'll just head and hopefully yeah. we'll meet each other? Yeah, that was a disappointment. That was, but, yeah. yeah um, with State of Decay 2, I mean, I've, I've watched the trailer about four or five times. Yeah. Um, and I messaged um, State of Decay because there's a part where 
they open two doors and you yeah. can do the zombie bash and they replied and said well we wouldn't put it in the, the um, trailer if, the, if, yeah. if it wasn't it would be pretty fucking stupid yeah. to put it in the trailer if it wasn't yeah. um, it could so have basically been said you're an idiot yeah but, <laughs> no, but, <laughs> I'm just but then they said <laughs> but we can't confirm or deny that yet with yeah. Inky Face so yeah. basically it, it's got to be in the game yeah. but another thing I noticed was that the shot flare up yeah. and then they went over to help other people yeah. so I think maybe it might be something along the lines of when you join somebody else's game, mm -hmm. uh, it'll come up on a map, like uh, it'll shoot a flay and then you can find them immediately. Yeah. Or like Seven Days to Die, where mm -hmm. it was like, oh, well, I'm in the game, so am I. All yeah. right, then, bye. Because yeah. you just it was impossible to find each other in that game, and yeah. it was gash. But I'd be interested to see how it works, because obviously, like, co-op is like, you know, me and you deciding that we're going to play together. Yeah. I wonder if it's going to be like that, or it's going to be that kind of um, Destiny slash Division kind of, oh, for open world where because the way the division works and stuff like that is like you know the whole map isn't populated by people yeah but if someone's in the same area of the map as you are you're just gonna interact yeah so i wonder if it'd be a case of you know if you're walking down the street you could bump into someone if you're playing by yourself yeah that, i think that would be cool because that'd be cool like you know like just to meet mm -hmm. randoms and i mean another thing i would like and i, I don't think it's gonna happen is the pvp aspect yeah i don't i'm not sure that i don't think, i would love if that would happen. yeah because i like w we want daisy and stuff like that but I would rather. I would rather have State, of State of Decay have that than play Daisy. Than play Daisy because State of Decay is, is a from the grounds up yeah, zombie survival game. Exactly. Where Daisy is a mod. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know and, right. and I mean the guys over at Undead Labs, the they do care about that. That, that I'm sure, I mean that that is their end goal though because obviously we've been following yeah. the game back when it was called Class Three and Class Four. Yeah. And the idea of Class Three was that it was going to be State of Decay one, where it was like this is just to see if we can uh, make this game, and then Class Four is the end goal of. The MMO, the PV, MMO yeah. PV, PVP kind of thing. Yeah. So, I mean, is this class 3.5? Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming that they're no, still it's building. Decay too, man. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Nobody Go knows what you mean. Um, but yeah, like, is this, and then they're going to make the MMO? I mean, yeah. for me, I, I love the idea of co op. And yeah. that's, that's, that's great. I mean, I played by myself, State of the Key, and I use my imagination. I built. Mm. Well, State of Decay was going to be co-op, wasn't it, at one point? Yeah, it was. And it's one of those games where I still I still can't believe they haven't added that even yeah. re re retroactively, because like, pretty much all of the time, the stuff that they added in the, um, the Year 1 edition you was like, you, you, you could take someone with yeah. you, so at all times, you could literally have a second character there. Yeah. And I, I just think, like, would it be that much of a stretch to have made that a second character yeah. playable? Yeah, you know I mean, what I mean? it would have been great. It, it would have. I mean, I would go back and play that game a hundred times again. Yeah, well, if it was I mean, I'm still playing right it currently. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I still, still love it. My girlfriend's still playing it currently as well. Like, it's just one of those games, like, mm -hmm. because, yeah, there is a story, but you can just survive. And I, I love just like say sinking a few hours and I've not really done anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've just went around scavenged some that's, houses. That's, that's all I did. Yeah, I, I used to scavenge the houses and even the ones you didn't t turn into like mini hubs for like your, your community yeah. I'd still board up all the windows so I'd go past and I'd know which ones I yeah. had been in and stuff I mean I'm not 100% sure if the state boarded up all the time yeah. but to me I was like that was my little base and yeah. I was using my imagination yeah. that that was why that game for me was I so I think good. it would be brilliant if say like for co-op if they like, say the, if the, the base building still existed there so you could have your own bases but with your own team yeah. of people as well um, and the big thing on the scavenging side of it that they never had, because you had these characters who were, you were kind of, you weren't, you weren't playing as you were, you were playing as this character until yeah. they died and they looked a certain way. I would like if what they added into scavenging was kind of Day's Easter where you could find clothing yeah. items as oh, well. I hope so. so even if I've got a place to survive, I don't necessarily want to play as. Hopefully I can customise them just to make them look a bit yeah. more to my uh, personal tastes. I mean, again, with, with the trailer, I noticed that there was a lot of, different characters wearing like a mask over their face like it was like a bandana yeah, yeah. so i'm thinking that maybe that it is a possibility that yeah. they're hinting to you know you're going to be able to customize your characters which mm. i hope you, you can do now i mean with the pain of death i mean with dz you died and then you came back and you were like a man or a woman in a pair of jeans and a t-shirt yeah. I'd, I'd be happy with that yeah where you died and then you would just become a new character again but you could yeah. go back or you could get your teammate to pick your shit up yeah and you could get it back do you know what i mean yeah. But I would love to be able to customise my own character yeah, and, and, and be able to pick up like funny hats and shit like that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because it, it makes it more it does. realistic in a it sense. Does. I think like that was one of the things like the division I what like we, we loved the division until we played the division when we got till we got the full game and we we're like, 
there's a surprise and a lack of content. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, but one of the things I did love on the division was like that whole thing was find, finding stuff, finding hats and finding yeah. gear. And yeah. Um, I mean, another thing that I think would be really good is if you could go off on your own. I mean, obviously there'll be a story and stuff like that, but yeah. where you could go off with your teammate and you could pick a house and you could fortify and you could yeah. put stuff down. Like, I'm hoping you can do that. Yeah. Because that, that to me is how survival works you keep moving like in the war with I mean, dead it could, it could be a in. case it could be a case of like if you play a single player then that that has the more story driven side of it yeah and then when you play a multiplayer it is just kind of survive yeah that, that would be cool do you know what i mean i mean I'll, like, I'll play the shit out of that even I'd, like the idea of like say holding somewhere up and just every now and again it periodically gets attacked and yeah like breakdown mode um yeah. for year one survival edition and when it was on the xbox 360 that would have been great and co-op yeah. Because you just keep moving, you keep building, you yeah. keep moving, and it gets harder and it gets tougher. And I think that would be would be great for State yeah. of Decay. It really It'd be would. awesome even if like they didn't have the PvP, but they had maybe say up to say eight players co-op. Yeah. But it was kind of like you could only play say four player co-op, and then you could there could be another group of four players in the same game as you. Yeah. So you could maybe trade with them or something. Yeah. You know, what I mean? like they would have awesome. like a, like yeah. a site the other side. Yeah. And you'd be like, look, I need these materials, but we've yeah. got loads of food. You yeah. need food, like, I'll trade you this amount of food exactly. for this amount. That, 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 and both, that would... both sides have to accept that. And then I don't think I'd ever play that ima game. Ima imagine <laughs> you had to not only do that, but you had to go and actually physically trade it. So it'd be like, oh, well, here's, here's the wood. Yeah. I have to go and deliver that wood to that yeah, camp. That would exactly. be amazing, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that would be great. I mean, like, with Ark and stuff like that, people can set up, like, settlements. And, and, yeah. And, and, and if it was like that, I mean, it doesn't have to be, like, 70 players. Like you said, it could be four yeah. on one side, four on the other. Yeah. And the, say you got a member of the party was got sick or, or yeah. whatever, and you had to trade food for medicine and stuff, yeah. I think that would give yeah. it more realism. I mean, I know that working with a lot of people who are survivalists in real life, yeah. who they talk about diseases and stuff for the second game. Yeah. Because, the, you know, they had those... Um, those newsletters and stuff was it like, we, we can't talk about what we're making but mm -hmm. we can talk about who we're making it with and there was like survivalists who lived out in the wild and stuff yeah. like that so i mean obviously you think to yourself well if they've got all of these that they're, they're possibly the heading in that direction yeah. so i'm not the thing is i'm not personally a fan of getting diseases in games no no like like i just for me that's just like because we'll, we'll talk about, it, I mean, yeah, it literally makes horror. But for me, it's just like it, it makes it unfun. Like it's not like I know, I know, you know, you're balancing that line between f fun gameplay yeah. and realism. Yeah. And I think there's a point where it's like, you know, what I mean, what, what next? Am I gonna have to press a button to breathe in and out? Yeah. Like I'm just like, I, you know I mean, what I mean? Yeah, I, I get that. I don't think it would be like that. What I think is, I mean, to me, the way I'm coming across it is that if you get bitten enough times you yeah. can become infected and die because of that yeah so i think you know if you just there was a vaccine or whatever yeah like and some you just, yeah you just took it once and then yeah. you were fine again but obviously you'd have to be wary because that me would make it more scary to come across zombies and yeah of, you know in the first one if you got bitten uh, you were fine and yeah. you lost some life you to pop some pills and you were fine again but i think yeah. it would be quite cool if you you know if a message pops i definitely up think it could make the zombies look less cartoony and a bit more yeah like the do zombies don't look scary at all in that game I, I i don't know because in breakdown mode yeah the higher up it got the more scared of the zombies i got because right. i think i got to like level four and zombies were really kicking me off so like yeah. really and i think it's the fear of you know you're going to lose that one life you've got left because you, you've left behind a lot of people yeah that made it scary um like the big zombies like the tank mm -hmm. i didn't like that because it took so much to put right. down and it was just an inconvenience. It wasn't yeah. that it was hard. It was, it was just an inconvenience because, like, I'm I'm like quite a good shot, and I like my rifles, and like I could just I would be headshotting at loads. Like I'd be like, yeah, headshot, exactly, headshot, and it, it, oh, it's charged towards this. Oh, I've sidestepped it. Yeah, headshot, headshot, headshot. Oh, it's finally dead. Yeah, exactly. You know I, mean? I mean, fair enough. Like some of the specials, like the fog one, or like I'm not a fan of the special zombies in any yeah, game. Yeah, same. And like the one that like can jump and the hunter and pin you down and shit like that. Yeah. Like, fair enough. It's just the big guys that that, that I don't like because they yeah. stop you from having the fun. Yeah. Like, and I, for less cartoony, I don't, I don't know because I I like the style of the that game. game. I did like the the aesthetic of, of the game. So I, to me, that that's not my main yeah. concern. I don't think it's like a main concern. It's just yeah. a personal preference, I suppose. Like yeah. I prefer like, like I love the zombies in Undead Nightmare on Red Dead Redemption. 
which is now backwards compatible yeah, on Xbox it is, One. It is. And I'm thoroughly <laughs> enjoying it on my like fifteenth millionth playthrough. Yeah. But oh, um yeah, great. But game. yeah, like uh like I just think the zombies look on that on that game actually look scary and like I think that's quite it's quite a thing, good thing to compare because that what that does on that game would it doesn't give you much ammo and you know you're like you're quite yeah. out in the world. a lot of the time like you're buzzing you're on your horse because you feel a bit safe on your yeah, horse yeah you do yeah because you can just run away uh-huh. um but like I, I like the zombies on that they look they look more human yeah like, yeah I, like, yeah I get like what these you, ones yeah. it's like I don't know I don't like I don't like the light up eyes like that doesn't scare me it's just like it looks you know it's very Nazi zombies um, yeah cod style which I, you know yeah. I mean, t- to be honest, uh, it's not. It's not. It's not a deal breaker on yeah. any level. It's literally oh, just an aesthetic preference. It's just that but I just think, preference. like, yeah, I just think they would look better if they were a bit scarier. You know? Yeah. Uh huh. And like, I would. I'd like to see hopefully on this one because, especially next year, with we're getting more power on the consoles. Yeah. And, like the file the size is becoming old. bigger and it not being a big, big, uh, oh, bigger deal. <laughs> so yeah. we're getting more, and I would like more variation in the zombies, like. I'd like to see, like, I don't if if we're keeping the big ones and we're keeping the um what the, the what, hunters the, what the Carl don't Carl the hunters the Carl someone someone else yeah. the the ones with the topless and the the shorts and the yeah, running on screamers all fours. there is screamers. The screamers as well they're yeah. not hunters but yeah, yeah. it's gonna bug us but um yeah like I I'd like if they didn't all look the same like literally physically shape wise they can look the same but I just don't want to yeah. see the big fat guy in dungarees every single time like. What every 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 fucking five yards is another, yeah, another fat, fat guy, guy in dungarees. dungarees. Nah, <laughs> it, give give us one in a tracky shirt or yeah. Oh yeah, I, 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 I mean? get like, that. Yeah, um, like I don't want to see the same five zombies over and yeah. over again. I, and I think the the world changed that possibly. Yeah. But like but a lot, again, of that, that's the thing as well as what like stated. Kate, as awesome as it is, and as much as there is there, there and there's there's a lot there. Yeah, it it is technically their technical test, isn't it? It's like yeah. them, you know, finding that feat. And it's like yeah. I mean, look at the Dead Rising games, Dead Rising One versus. Dead Rising Three, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or like even like Dead Rising Four coming out, like they're saying, oh yeah, this this is gonna be the most zombies you've ever seen. Yeah. Which you know what I mean? I I think personally, I think they're just gonna do a lot of the same stuff from the first one, but bigger and better. Yeah. Um, and obviously with added co-op and stuff out. Yeah. We've we've heard very little for whatever reason. At least reason. four player co-op there, because I mean. Yeah. It's not a game. Well, it's not I a game breaker, but I, you know, I I just think you know, there was a good number. Every time you see characters, there's there's at least three there's at of least them. Three, yeah. So I'm assuming there was going to be because there was three together and then they yeah. shot the flare, meaning you know like that other person needed help. So those yeah. three people went to help that that fourth mm. person. So I believe it's going to be four player co-op. Yeah. I mean I'm not hundred percent sure on that. I mean I don't know how it works because obviously that deal with Microsoft, they're not allowed to say much, yeah. which is ridiculous yeah. because we, we knew the game was coming even though we didn't know it was yeah. coming. And I just, I would like a little bit more information. I mean, I get the newsletters. I've signed up for the newsletters. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've signed up for fucking everything. I'm on the forums and everything because yeah, I yeah. love that game so yeah. much, the, the first one. So then, um, so if you get a State of Decay title, they don't endorse you to get a title. Yeah. But then if you get, if you do get one of the logo, which is like the skull with yeah. the, uh, the hatchet and the um, shotgun, they're like, oh yeah, you can get the game for free. I'm like, hmm, I was going to do that anyway. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know. Free so, game. So now well, I'll get a free game, so I'm going to have to get that title. Well, we won a competition, didn't we? Like, yeah. One of that competitions, you got a t-shirt and I got the game. Yeah. So, I mean, I already had the game, so I'd give that to a friend. Yeah. I was like, well, you'll love this game. And surprise, surprise, they did. So, yeah. they, they, they've technically, they've got themselves another person to buy yeah. State of the K2 because we're like, this game's really good. Yeah. So, do you know what I mean? So, I think... The company, Young Dead Labs, they're, they're brilliant. Mm-hmm. They reply every time we've we've made a, an episode. They've always replied. They've always said thank you for you know taking the time to talk about it. They've yeah. listened because they've said well we they didn't. do listen to the fans. I mean, yeah. like, say, like you say, it's it's you know the, the, I think the, the people who love this game love this game. You know, they, they've waited for long enough. You know what I mean? I mean yeah. Oh Christ, yeah. When we first yes. started reading about like class three, I mean, what was that like? Oh, God, uh, seven long, years ago. A long to eight, <laughs> eight maybe eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. twenty two. Yeah. I so, was twenty two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you know what I mean. Like it's 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 like it's a, it's console players have been like really let down in terms of um zombie survival games and yeah, like State oh, of Decay definitely. didn't let console down. You know what I mean? Have yeah, been let console. Down. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like I say, State of Decay just didn't let down at all. No. And, and like I say, State of Decay two. I don't think it's gonna let down at all. Like you know what I mean? Like I'm not too worried about it because I, I know pretty much. I trust them that yeah, even definitely. if it's not exactly what I wanted, I'm probably still, still gonna love the shit it. out of it. Well, I mean, a lot of people, the only thing a lot of people said about the first one was, well, we wish, we wish it had co-op. I wish it had co-op, yeah. So, it's, it's got co-op, so I yeah. can't see, I mean, like, obviously people are going to play it. The amount of times we've played it where we're talking on the headset, but we're both individually playing State of Decay. Yeah. And we're playing, oh, imagine how class this would be if me and you were playing yeah. this together. Exactly. I mean, that's, it's, it's our dream come true to play yeah. a zombie game together. I mean, it's just a shame that 
yeah. you know, Seven Days to Die was not the game we it thought was it was going to be, yeah. which was depressing. As, I, as I'm not well. sure if that was that much of a shame because I didn't have high hope for it anyway. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be DayZ, but you could yeah. build your own base, but it wasn't. Yeah. Four players to one map. The thing as well is, you think, you think you've got to look at it as well as DayZ, that kind of DayZ day style. Yeah. State of the Decay's inventory system works so well on console because it was built with console in mind. Yeah, definitely. Whereas, like, Seven Days to Die is kind of DayZ's and Minecraft and Orcs system, which doesn't translate very well to console. Like, it's no. it's very cumbersome I mean, and I think Ark in have, depth. And Ark have managed it well, but I think. I still don't. I still think that's, like, yeah. a lot. Like, I think it's dead hard to change stuff on the fly. Yeah. I mean, if you've got them on the on the on like the hot the, keys, yeah. on the hot keys, oh yeah, but I mean, just like you know, like you've got to go into the menu and there's all these squares and <laughs> you're using you're using the um your controller as it's like a mouse key and it's taking it ages just to click yeah. down, you know, because I mean? it's it's made for PC and they haven't really translated that amazingly to yeah. console, whereas I I say, state 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 of the key, state of the key just works a treat. You know yeah, I mean? did like, yeah. I mean, the, it's like two two three button presses maximum, and you're yeah. exactly where you are. I think people did complain about the you know the inventory system in state of the key, but I think you're going to get that no matter yeah. what. You you're not going to appeal to everyone, but I th I do think you're right that the inventory system was quite good, and you know you yeah. get to the house hub thing. Yeah, yeah. You could build, and you it was quite straightforward. It, quite yeah. straightforward. it was straightforward. Yeah. So uh, again, I mean, I can't see them changing it that much for this one yeah. i mean i might be wrong but i think it's going to be more of the same for that i think what they might do as well though is if um like you say it's multiplayer in terms of like four player co-op i think they'll have you do more of the stuff that you relied on scavengers to do because a lot yeah. of the time you'd go somewhere and you'd be like call for scavengers but if there's going to be three of you there's going to be way much more inventory space to carry yeah, stuff definitely so i think yeah. it'll be a case of you know you've got three people with you you are probably going to carry the majority of the yeah. stuff and take it back and now I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think when the first the game first came out, you couldn't put stuff in the boot of your yeah. car, and I think for a year one survival edition you could, or either that I or I didn't was, know. I think I'm sure you could, but I'm not sure it was on every car, and I'm sure right. there was less space as well. Right, because I think obviously they're gonna they're gonna do that again, or yeah. they're gonna they're gonna have that for for yeah. this one. So I think again with co-op, you you're gonna have more fun because you're gonna you're gonna stay in places longer to see how much you can loot and how much yeah. you can get. With your friends I would like to see another just aesthetic thing though. I would like to see it physically show up when you've put stuff in. Yeah, that would so, be cool. Like so in like, the back of a truck. So like if you put stuff in the back of a truck, or like if you've got like um a compact, um if you fill it up completely, maybe have the boot open a little bit. Yeah. Just because there's just a little cool. bit too much stuff like yeah. you've jammed in just yeah. to give it that like you know. I, th I think aesthetic flair. You know what I mean? I like, think that would think... be good. Yeah. I mean, the story there wasn't many there wasn't any cutscenes. I don't think in the first one it was just. It was, in game. it was in game, they would just be stood there and they'd yeah. be like, you'd and I mean, the subtitles. And... It would be cool if I had a few cutscenes now and again, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But again, it's, it, it wouldn't take away from the game. Yeah, it's I just don't, I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I don't need the cutscenes. Like, I'm happy to just be in the game world, yeah. just doing my thing. Just doing, just doing whatever yeah. it is that, that we need to do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for me, as long as it's co-op, which we know it is, mm -hmm. as long as it's drop in and drop out, and you, you literally you can spawn right next to your friend, or you can appear on the map and it's not like miles and yeah. miles away, then yeah, I mean I don't I don't think I don't think you'll spawn right on someone at the bath as long as it's like you spawn in some buildings near them or something. Yeah, you know what I mean? uh -huh. yeah. As 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 long as they, they've got that you know done well, I can't see this game yeah. being a bad game. I mean, even if it was single player, it wouldn't be a bad game. Yeah. Because the, the the state of the key games are fantastic. The 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 f the first one was. I mean, yes, it had its bugs, and in year one survival edition, it, it seemed to have the same bugs. Yeah. But it was still good. I mean, I've played <clears throat> the story three times. Yeah. And I I'll, I'll go back and I'll play it again because I yeah. love the game. Yeah. I just want bigger and better. Yeah. And not necessarily better because it's making it sound like the first nah, game was even... bad. Just bigger. Nah, just bigger. More scope. More. Mm -hmm. more of everything really and less big fat zombies yeah. because those zombies I think the, are the, the problem with us is we're so sold on it like we've said it a million times like I would, I would, I would if they just give her the same map I would still wouldn't even be upset yeah I'd, well, cause, because I, just if it had co-op I'd still be buzzing yeah. but I don't think they'll do that I mean I, I mean, when you look at um, Lifeline and stuff like where obviously they made the, the whole new map for that yeah I think I think they will, they will build a whole new area well that, that's another thing with the trailer was 
the left Trumbull County. Yeah. And that's the start. It shows you leaving. And then someone fires a flare and then they drive back in. So does, what does that mean? Does it mean it's going to be in Trumbull County or not? Yeah. Or can you leave Trumbull County and come back? Do you it, know might what I mean? be, it might be a reimagining of it. So they might, like, it yeah. might be Trumbull County but bigger and better. Yeah. Or it might be, like you say, that's one county and there's yeah. a whole new map on top of that. Yeah, that would be cool. That. That's what I think. Maybe there will be Trumbull County still. Like it'd be, it'd be interesting to see if it was like say a few years later. So yeah, and maybe you, maybe you go back to the church and it's been burned down or something. Yeah, you know that, what I mean? that, for me that would be fucking that. that my mind's just been blown at yeah. the thought of it. Like if it was like say Grand Theft Auto, where like you had like it was set in San Andreas and you've got like the the shitty parts of the yeah. town. Yeah. But like Trumbull County is just part of a bigger city. Yeah. And you could just go around the city. I think that that would be yeah. excellent. So I'm yeah. I'm hoping that that's what it is. But like you said, even if it is in Trumbull County only, yeah. it's we're still gonna play it because it's it's another zombies. Th- another thing that I haven't played with as well <laughs> is like um there could be more there could be more um variation in the vehicles, so. Because obviously yeah. there could be things like um like um what do you call it dirt bikes or yeah oh, I'd love more bikes. or like imagine if if you know there was a part where you could only access it by boat so you had to get a boat to yeah get oh, to that'd a certain, be cool. like another island another, another or, island or yeah. something shit or like an <laughs> island you could have maybe an island base of some yeah. sort you know oh what I mean? my god so that's, that's where so you good. so you got you, you you know you take the boat into the country into yeah. the city to scavenge and then yeah. you take oh, you, you take your loot back to your Oh island. man, that sounds so good. <laughs> Your zombie island paradise. Yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? be, that would be friggin' cool, man. And maybe you think you're fine, and then one day all of a sudden zombies just start walking onto the beach out of the water. Yeah, oh, that would be cool. And you've got to, you know, defend it or something. Yeah, that, that, be, that, that would be wicked. You know I love that. Yeah. I mean, I don't want it to go too GT online, you know, I'm not talking about helicopters. Oh, no. I don't want helicopters no, or no. planes or anything, you know what I mean? No. But, uh, that, a, boat that, would that, be cool. a boat would be. Even if it's just one of those, like, rowboats. A rowboat, yeah. And it yeah. only fits, like, two people two, on at two, a time, yeah. three people on at a time. I, I think that would be cool. Yeah. It'd have, and one thing I would... Pedal. Took a pedal out of Africa once. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the waves. Yeah. Um, real, mate. But um, I, one thing I've always wanted in a zombie game is a prison. Like, yeah. And not just since The Walking Dead, but, like, I've mm. always said... I think it would be cool to live in a prison yeah. in a zombie apocalypse because yeah. it's somewhere that yeah, yeah like in I always remember like, like the thing obviously we're huge zombie gamers so even when we're playing games that aren't zombie games we're thinking about zombie yeah. games and I think I remember playing GTA 4 and being really upset how underused the prison was in it yeah. and the whole time thinking it'd be so cool if this, you were in this prison and it was full of zombies yeah exactly do you know what I mean every game I think even the division would do, would did that wouldn't yeah. this be cool if those dead bodies just got up right now and those zombies yeah like I, yeah, the division. I'd be playing the division for probably for until State of Decay came out. Yeah, if, if it had zombies. If it had zombies. Yeah. Um. I mean, Daisy sounds like it's never ever gonna come out because it keeps getting pushed back. It's been pushed back again yeah. apparently. So I think console. the only thing we're gonna get is State of Decay, the next zombie game, big zombie game like that. Yeah. Is gonna be State of Decay two, which. Yeah. It's brilliant, but also a shame because we need to play zombie games before we play that zombie game together. Yeah. And I mean, H one Z one's allegedly coming out, but I mean, yeah. wasn't that supposed to come out? Well, I think the the crappy King of the Hill mode was meant to be out this month already. But June, no June, I think it was, was supposed it, to come. Uh, yeah. But like everything gets pushed back. Well, wasn't wasn't um, an APB meant to be out like last year or something, and it's only just come out now, and it's yeah, a heap of shit. It is a pile of shit. That just got dropped. It was like right, there it is. It was like quietly released. It wasn't yeah. like this big. For all, and I know, but then when, when you actually played it, you're like, Oh, that's why it was quite yeah, that's, cause that's it's why because it's gosh, it's like playing Saints Row One again, yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> terrible, um, yeah. Um, but for, for me, State of the K2, I, I, because I'm so biased because I love the company and I love State of the K, even if yeah. they. They released it and went, oh, we didn't manage to get Quop in. I'd still buy it. I'd still, still buy it. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be I'd disappointed. Be a little bit dis- that's probably the only thing that could disappoint us on is if Quop was somehow dropped. Yeah. But I don't I'd... think they could disappoint us otherwise. No, nah, not But at don't all. get us wrong, I, I still, I still, you know, yeah. would love them to, you know. I don't think, I, I think, you know, State of Decay and Year One Edition in particular showed you that they're not just going to rest on the laurels and be like, no, hey, no. we can do Call of Duty and bring out the same game, you know, I think it'll be... Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Like I said, it's... It'll be it's, bigger, better, more... It's and... the independent developers that that working for their fans because yeah. they're, they're, themselves, they are fans of video games. 
and they think to themselves, well, you know, wouldn't this be cool in a video game? So we'll put it in. Not well, wouldn't this be cool? Yeah, but the guy upstairs says we don't want that in the video yeah. game. So it's like with movies and stuff like that. You've got people who've got their fingers in the pie and think, well, if that doesn't work, I'll lose money. Yeah. Whereas on Dead Labs, they they're saying to themselves, well, this will be cool. Someone stick it in the game, and I mean, I think, I think it probably sold better than they thought it was going to sell as well. Definitely. Yeah. So. I mean, like you said, we were following that game for years before it even materialised. Yeah. We were hyped. So, I mean, how many other people were? Yeah, exactly. And, I mean... And how many people who weren't even interested, or like, who, who weren't invested at all and who know about it, how many people still played it and enjoyed it, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I mean... Because there's people who you're going to get who who literally will just go into a game shop and read the back of a cover and buy it, you know Yeah, I mean? yeah. Well, my mate had never even heard of it. Yeah. And then when I gave him the copy, he was like, oh, I'll give it a try. And then he, then he messaged back and said, it's fucking great. Yeah, I it's awesome. really love this game. Um, and then I told him State of the Kyo 2 was coming out and that was multiplayer. I was like, well, I'll get it. 100% so, 100% sold. sold. So, yeah. again, it's because the company's such a good company and the, they actually care about their fans. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So, they, they've got another sale from giving away a free yeah. copy of of year one survival edition. It's, a great, it's one of those games as well though. It, it is underrated. And it is definitely it, I think I think there might be a bit more fanfare with two. Of, the K2. I, think, I think the yeah. closer that gets, I think Microsoft will push it. Oh they will definitely better than the ha- they did one. Yeah, one, definitely. One was kinda like arcade release, here it is. Yeah. Like, this is gonna be full fledged. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean for me I think it would be good if they put it on the game preview programme, but I say that about every game. Yeah. But I definitely think it would because like arc um and there's another one called the long dark yeah. they give feedback and they actually listen to their fans and they put stuff into yeah, the game it'd be, it'd be good like say if they released it on preview yeah and it was kind of like here's the game now with co-op but eventually it will have pvp yeah that that'll be <laughs> that'll be incredible well, exactly. i mean think about the amount of people who would buy it like say 27.99 like arc was yeah. and a lot of people were saying you know this would be good for pvp and because they've made that money they can work on that yeah, even if it takes an extra year it's, yeah. well it's going to come it's going to be a year away and then they could release it and then patch it like they do every yeah. two weeks on on arc that, yeah. that would be fucking awesome i would love that i mean it's the same with that friday the 13th game i think that would benefit from being on their preview yeah. program because they would get more money and help them to fund that game to yeah, make I it bigger it would, and bigger i don't think i don't think many people that i don't think that game's going to do well it's a standalone release no whereas i think it probably Which, would do better hours so. yeah definitely but State of the K2, if, I mean, you, if it's a AAA title now or whatever it's going to be, I'm still going to buy it. Even if it's fifty four ninety nine, I'm still going to yeah. buy the game. But I think if they put it on the Xbox preview program, like say they put it on next week, and I know that's not going to happen, but they would get a, they would get a feel for how many people are going to buy their game at yeah. that price. And then they can add to it and they can, they can yeah. make it better. Like my mate won't pay for ARC now because this hasn't got achievements and it's laggy. Yeah. But, I don't care, even if it doesn't come with achievements. Yeah. I'll, I'd still buy it for twenty seven. Well, I mean, if you look at Ark there, there's loads of people on Ark. Yeah, there's... Ark sold incredibly well for console. I, I think they've got like 600 extra servers on console than they have for PC or something yeah. like that. It sold it's, so well. It sold so well. Because there was nothing like it. And at all. That's then. the thing as well, though, the, like you say, in terms of... Because, I mean, that Ark's a very comparable game to DayZ. It's just zombies. Dinosaurs. It's, it's dinosaurs instead of zombies. zombies. Yeah. Whereas, like, say, th- there isn't that on console, like you say. We thought Seven Days to Die was going to be, and it isn't. It's not. Sadly, it's not. I mean, we wanted it to be. And that was expensive. And apparently that's a finished game. Yeah. It doesn't look finished it at all. Yeah. I yeah. thought it was going to be updated every couple of weeks with it's patches. Like, and It's like a 64 game with multiplayer. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it is ridiculous. Nintendo 64 multiplayer. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited for um, State of Decay 2, as obviously we've dedicated a whole episode yeah, to talking course, about yeah. it. But um, but et- eternally sold and eternally hyped and excited. Definitely, yeah. But like I say, I think like I say, there's so much that they can do with it. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, just some of the stuff that was just off the top of the head ideas. I think if it was like sat down and were like, what would want in a perfect zombie game? I think that's what their teams like. Like, yeah. Because what they do obviously on their website as well is like they introduce all the members of the team and they talk about it. And that like I think that's what they do. They have conversations and they're like they watch a lot of you know Zombies zombie films, lore and zombie films yeah. and literature and they're like. What do people want? What do we want? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that, 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 that. But that, I mean, it's been my, yeah. it's been a, not not just ours, probably a lot of people's as well, and that's why DZ exists. As far back as I can remember, playing like the very first Grand Theft Autos, I'm like, I would love this if it was zombies. Yeah, well, exactly. I, I would love open world with zombies, uh, and there's just there really isn't enough. Other people you know what I mean? Is, and State of yeah. Decay is a prime example. 
that is open world with zombies. And it's fucking great. Yeah. Now give me well, give me that, but with my friends. Yeah, with my friends. Give oh. me GT Online with zombies, but yeah. without the transactions. <laughs> yeah, without the pay to win. Yeah. Without the pay to win. You know what I mean? Pay to get calls. But when I say GT Online, I, in fact, I don't mean that. Give us GTA Fours Online, but with zombies. Yeah. Because I actually enjoy, that. That's a better yeah. version. Yeah. Or just on, Red Dead Online with. Red Dead. I know. That, with zombies. I, I still, and... I, it'll, st- it'll, st- it'll still bug. It'll bug us for the rest of my life. Why? They made Undead Nightmare, and then the multiplayer side of it was a horde mode. A horde mode. Why didn't they make open it the world. exact same open world that they have for standard multiplayer, and just have the NPCs be zombies? Yeah, it would be insanely You'd good. You'd be fighting other people and zombies. And zombies, and it would be amazing. That, yeah. Why didn't they do that? I don't. I honestly don't know. It I'm, bugs us to this yeah. day because I still love playing that game. There's nothing better than you are playing that game and you're out in the middle of the woods and you're killing a bunch of zombies and then a zombie bear comes and swipes it and you could have been playing that with your friends. Yeah, exactly. And literally, literally the only thing that stopped them doing that is because no one thought of it or they decided not to do it. Yeah. Because that was a game where they could literally do that. They already had all of the software there. Yeah. Online multiplayer works where you can be in the woods with a friend and a bear can attack you. Yeah. But you could have just had the NPCs be zombies. You've already made the NPCs as zombies. Yeah, exactly. So the open just, world with zombies that. is already there because you do yeah, it. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. That's what I don't get. Why is that on console? Why don't we have that on console? They've yeah. got it for PC. They've got H one Z one. They've got tons of zombie survival games. Yeah, there's, PvP. Lo- there's loads of knockoff ones. Oh, yeah, War Z or something like yeah. that. And like, there's just loads of them. Even the one for um, Xbox three sixty that costs seventy nine A- pence. A- A- Poxy. Poxy. I know. Yeah. So I mean, we're getting that with State of Gear two. I mean, we're getting co op. Yeah. But you know. Just give us the. <laughs> give, give, give us, us the all PvP. With yeah. Zombies instead of. Yeah. Um. Dinosaurs. That's that's what we want. We want the PvP. We want to feel like we're in a zombie apocalypse. I wish I was. I wish I was a programmer so I could just yeah like, get a version of Daisy working on console. Yeah, I wish I could it. do. I wish yeah. I could do that. Just do that in my spare <laughs> Just time. make it so that it, it, it's playable with a fucking uh, an Xbox remote. Yeah, an Xbox control. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. That, that 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 would be the dream. But um, yeah. So State of Decay Two. We are hyped, like more hyped than ever because yeah. it's State of Decay and it's co-op. I know. So I can't wait. Personally, I, I wish it was on a preview program right now yeah. because I would have bought it at any price. I know. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so, sadly, no release date. Yeah, just, 2017. Just, just 2017, so, maybe. I'm, I'm thinking maybe October the 17th. Like, yeah. it's. I, I don't know. I don't know. They said 2017, but a lot of places, a lot of games say 2017. And I just think. For next year, it's now we've seen nothing. We've seen, yeah. a, we've seen a CGI trailer, not an in-game yeah. trailer. Yeah. Do you know oh, what I mean? I can't wait for the day that we get that though. Yeah. <laughs> I know. But yeah, I like your idea about the island. I'm, 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 I want that now. I want that island. Yeah, I want that island and <laughs> the, the boat, the boat and the prison. Like, <laughs> I just, prison. just make a game. It could be Alcatraz, like the island, yeah. like a oh, prison island. That would be so cool. Like but at some point, at some point, you're like, oh, you know, there's a prison island there. Yeah. If we cleared that out, we could fortify that, and that could be oh our God. base. And then that's the mission you have to go and yeah, we're, take no, the prison. We're gonna have to learn how to make video games because <laughs> we've got the the best video game in our head, but we just can't get it out there. So <laughs> yeah. Someone know how to make video games. Don't have games. any real talent. Yeah, that's sadly <laughs> Other true. Other than chatting shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. chatting shit on the internet. And even <laughs> even then, I don't do that well because nobody listens. Yeah, sad, <laughs> sad but true. <laughs> well, thanks for listening to our State of Decay special. Yeah. And just remember that GG doesn't stand for good game. It stands for get good. Bring it.